Hey Workshop Gang, it is Monday, April 15th, 2019, and you know what that is? That's tax day. So make sure you've got your taxes paid. You don't want Uncle Sam coming after you. But it is also a good day for me to do some weed eating and cleaning up around the house. And to that end, I got out my 2010 Toro weed eater. And I started playing with it, trying to get it running, and I've had issue after issue with it. And I've decided, you know what, I'm tired of it. These are always a pain if they're if you can't get them running, and you you can play with them and fight with them and different things. But there's always some issue going on with these weed eaters. And the other thing is, as I was trying to get it running, the trimmer head just basically fell off. So I tried to get it back on, and it wouldn't go back on. So there's some other issue going on there. But again, this is a nine-year-old weed eater, and I've decided that I'm going to go electric. So I'm going to open up this box here. This is a Cobalt 40 volt max. It says 40 minutes of runtime, dual line bump feed, 13 inch max cutting swath. That's a good word, swath. You don't use that often enough. So I'm going to open up this box and see what's in it and show you as well. Got some instructions here, some information about the lithium ion battery, the charger, and the trimmer itself and also some information on how to install the edge guide. We'll look at those more in just a minute. Seems pretty well packaged. Looks pretty simple. Set that aside for now. Got the carry handle. Charger, battery, and I'll assume that's a guard. I don't know what else it would be. It appears there's a little detent button on the lower half of the assembly and I put the two together there's a little high spot here which allows it to lead into that you don't have to push it down with your thumb locks in and I would say it's pretty safe to assume that I would tighten up the bolts here to, sec to uh, secure that and that requires a 5 30 second Allen wrench. Now for the guard assembly. Ah, that's nice. It's got the little trimmer so that when you bump stop the line it trims it to the correct length so I'm going to remove that piece of tape that's on there and there you can see it this also requires the 532nd allen wrench so we'll remove these bolts And it also has tape holding the, the two ends of the trimmer wire. So 
So I'll need to take those off, take that off. Now I want to install the carry handle. And it appears just take out the bolt, slip it around the shaft, put the bolt back in, reinstall the wing nut. And of course I want to move that as I determine what is comfortable for me. So for now, I'm just going to leave it where it's at and do my uh, final adjustments later. As you can see, this battery is a 2.5 amp hour and it has an indicator that lets you know how much charge it has. Now I was looking at the instructions and per the instructions, it says for the 2.5 amp hour battery, it should take 75 minutes to charge. For the higher amp hour, it takes 90 minutes. Pretty simple. The trimmer itself, if you look at these diagrams with all the pictures, it tells you about the battery, the charger, the controls, the different pieces to the assembly. It mentions that it has a lock off lever which is item uh, C and it has a speed switch so it has two different speeds and that is just in front of item C right where your thumb would be if you were grabbing the trigger handle and I can show you that and then it goes into these other different things with the edge guard and you know the covers and secondary items but I think the most important thing is the trigger mechanism and then the control switch for the speed and of course it's going to show you various pieces and parts. I should also point out that there is an Allen wrench included but I happen to use the one that I had on hand so it is in the kit just so you know and this part is your edge guide and that's a little bit different you can see it's got a spring to it and there's a picture that shows how that should be used and how it shouldn't be used. And if you look at this picture, it shows the correct installation. Apparently there's a recess for this to fit into, and they don't want it between the trimmer head and the uh, assembly. So looking at the head unit here, you can see there's two grooves, hopefully you can see, and that's where this piece attaches. And it has little tabs in here that keep it from turning pretty simple and fairly easy to remove as well and that again is for doing some edge work along your driveway or sidewalk I don't know if I'm going to use that or not but just you know just so you know it has that attachment the battery has a little catch on it right here and you can see the trimmer has this little tab that's your release so when you install the battery, it just slides in, locks in place. To release it, just push on that release switch, take the battery out. This is your two-speed switch. This is your trigger. But this is your lockout. So you have to push that lockout for the trigger to operate. The charger has raised portions on the inside here. And you can see that the actual connectors for the battery are offset to one side. If you look at the battery, you see it also has those same tracks. It actually has them on either side, but if you look at it, the offset 
is to the forward. So if you were reading the word cobalt, you would just line that up, insert that. Green light comes on indicating that it is charging. And I would say it's safe to assume that when that light stays steady green, that it is fully charged. Fully charged. give you a little bonus material I used it again today to do some some more trimming and it's been working great and it should it's you know new um, but I wanted to show you this spool holder it's pretty simple there's two little tabs you can kind of see maybe I'll try to zoom in later there's a little push tab right there and another one on the opposite side and basically, you just compress those, and the um, cover will come off. See if I can get that in frame. And that's it. Now it has these two outlets for the trim wire, and it appears they're on the same plane. They're both at the same level. The wire or trim wire, however you want to call it, has two separate wraps, as most of them do. And basically you just, you know, wrap up one at a time. And if you're holding it upside down, you would go clockwise. And then you interlock or interweave the uh, both pieces into these slots and then just snap this back on. Now it's probably a little difficult to hold the camera or have everything lined up but I'll try to do it real quick. I didn't want to have to pull it off, but it makes it easier so I can see both uh, pieces here. So 
gonna interweave these two pieces of trimmer wire. And then line that up with the, the uh, snap catches. That's it. Well, it works. That's one thing. So far, granted I've only used it one time, but I'm happy with it. I will say that it's a little heavy towards the front where the motor is, even with the battery in the back. Um, these lithium ion batteries are lighter than the old NICADs that we're so used to. So it just wants to nose down a little bit. Not that big a problem. I did move this carry handle forward as far as I could and that helped. And also putting my forearm up here on the battery pack, that helped as well because then I could control it a little more. Uh, I did use setting number two which is the faster speed and that seemed to be beneficial. I will say the lower speed might be better if you're doing some trimming around some uh, trees that you want to take, you know, be careful of, you don't damage them but otherwise number two seemed to work fine. The bump stop system seems to work fine and let the trimmer wire extend out okay and uh, other than that I'm happy with it. Now my mind could change as I use it over the next year or so and we'll see but at this point this Cobalt 40V Max electric trimmer I give it a thumbs up I like it and I hope that it gives me satisfaction in the future as well. I will point out this has a five year warranty on it, a three year warranty on the battery and from what I understand that battery will fit in other uh, cobalt items as well. I don't know what they are, you'd have to look that up, but uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. So if you'd be so kind, throw a thumbs up on there, like subscribe, share, all those cool things, and uh, that'll be it for today. So thanks for watching, and take care of yourselves.